Just like many other things in modern society, our eye exams have gone digital. On this episode of OcuTalk, Dr. Devinder Sidhu will be discussing the digital eye exam, how it works, and why regular eye exams are so important to our eye health. Dr. Sidhu? I want to talk to you. Not now, later. No, now. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us for a brand new episode of Aki Talk. My name's Nick, and today we have a very special guest joining us from British Columbia, Canada, Dr. Devinder Sidhu. Dr. Sidhu, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Excellent. Well, we're so happy to have you. We know you're very busy, but we'll get it started here. But uh, before we get started, Dr. Sidhu, uh, can you just let us know a little bit about your background, your practice, and your specialty? So I graduated in 2015 from the Pennsylvania College of Optometry. I currently am an owner of multiple private practices. I also practice in corporate setting at Costco's as well. Uh, in terms of specialty, I am a primary eye care provider, but I do focus heavily on glaucoma, dry eye, and macular degeneration. Awesome. Well, thank you again, uh, doctor, for that. And again, thank you so much for joining us. We know you're very busy. Uh, so for our discussion today, Dr. Sadu, uh, we were hoping that maybe you could discuss comprehensive digital eye exams and how, how exactly do they work? So a comprehensive digital eye exam allows for much more thorough examination by your doctor. It, it uses modern technology so that there, there's high resolution images taken, not just a photo, but also a scan of the eye as well, which basically, in addition to that, it also allows for them to compare you to yourself as you age, which allows for more thorough care as well. Awesome. And uh, how does the, what, what does the exam entail exactly? Can you go a little bit further into it for us? Yeah, absolutely. So the exam starts with a technician taking an estimate of your prescription. They also take a measurement of the curvature of your cornea followed by a pressure reading as well with screens for glaucoma. In addition to that, they do measure the actual central thickness of your cornea, which is the clear covering of your eye. This measurement can be quite important for patients who might have high pressure. It can also be an indicator of someone who might have had corneal issues or had LASIK or PRK in the past as well. You'd be surprised how often people forget to mention that they've had LASIK or PRK if it's been especially over 10 to 20 years. Uh, the technician then proceeds to take a few photos and also a scan of the eye as well. The doctor will then go over all this information in the exam room with the patient. Uh, obviously this exam does include other, other factors such as a measurement of your pupillary reaction to light, uh, a measurement of your resting position of your eyes, also the eye tracking and eye movements. We also do look at your side vision or your visual field aspect as well. Uh, a lot of things can be caught during that test. Um, the obvious one is obviously the, your glasses prescription that happens in almost every exam. Uh, but having that photo and that OCT scan does allow your doctor to kind of look at certain areas a little more detailed when they are examining your eyes with the microscope as well. Fantastic. Thank you for that, doctor. And I'd probably be one of your patients who forgot to tell you that uh, I had LASIK a long time ago. So I, my apologies in advance. Uh, but what type of technology do you, do you use to conduct the exam? So outside the basic uh, instruments that majority of uh, eye care practices have, this one does involve a retinal photo, a high resolution one. It's called a without a dilation. Uh, that being said, that's not an, a replacement for a dilated eye exam. You should still have your eyes, uh, eyes dilated yearly or every two years, depending on where you live. Uh, the OCT is a great instrument, especially because it is a non-invasive way of uh, producing a high resolution image. It's actually kind of like the traditional ultrasound that most people have experience with. But instead of using sound waves, it uses light reflections to produce a high quality image. And that image actually allows your doctor to see things uh, at a very small level. We're talking microns in size. So, uh, you know, even being a good doctor, the naked eye can only see so much. So adding this to your exam really, really allows your doctor to check every nook and cranny of your eye. Fantastic. Awesome. Thank you for that. And uh, Dr. Stu, can you let our audience know why it's important to have these exams? Well, it's important because kind of the reason we just said, the naked eye, you know, you could be the best doctor in the world. Uh, at the end of your exam, the doctor will typically chart what they're finding, but it, it's not the same as putting an actual image on file or a scan on file and the doctor referring to those images. So long-term, it does allow for much more thorough care, but also comparison of yourself as you age, as most eye diseases do become more common as we get older. So having this type of exam is key to establish, you know, the health of your eyes as a baseline for all future comparisons. 
Perfect. And uh, Dr. Sudhu, by doing these exams, what can it help you discover about the person? Well, there's a common expression in the eye care industry that where doctors often say the eyes are the window to your health. And it's absolutely true. Uh, you'd be surprised how many times we have patients come in and they're like, oh, my wife made me come or my husband made me come. And then you end up catching something that could be quite significant or quite serious. So, um, you know, it it's, does help you catch eye disease. But in addition to that, it also tells you a lot about a person's general health as well. You can see cholesterol, high blood pressure, autoimmune conditions, brain tumors, cancers, infectious diseases, uh, you know, inflammatory diseases, you name it. So end of the day, it, it is a true assessment of not just your eye health, but also your overall health as well. Fantastic. And again, I'd be one of those patients where my wife makes me go to a lot of these exams. So again, apologize for that. You're, uh, you're not alone. <laughs> it happens more than you think. <laughs> for sure. And um, how often should we get these exams done? So in Canada, the practice guidelines are a bit different than America. In Canada, we recommend a full eye exam at six months old, three years old, five years old, then every year while they're in, in school. Um, after 19, we, uh, between 19 to 64, we actually recommend it every two years, unless indicated otherwise by your doctor. And then after 65, we recommend it uh, annually. Uh, excellent. And again, uh, you heard it from Dr. Sudhu there, get your eyes checked every two years. <laughs> and uh, so Dr. Sudhu, uh, are there any new technologies or developments on the eye care horizon that we should be on the lookout for? Yeah, I mean, right now it's, it's quite an interesting time. I graduated six years ago, and just in the last six years, the amount of developments we've had, not just in technology, but treatment plans as well, and just the research that's come forward. Um, as a patient, it's exciting because I feel like every year there's new stuff when you go to the eye doctor, even at our clinics, when people come in there, oh, I've never had this done before. So it's exciting for them. It's exciting for us. The trend right now in eye care, at least where I live, is seems to be a lot of uh, myopia management, which is nearsightedness management to help slow that down. Also, dry eye disease is more popular than ever just because of the pandemic. So uh, don't be surprised if you're going to your next eye exam and they do have an instrument that measures how dry your eyes are or they measure the length of your eye based on your nearsightedness. So Fantastic. We'll definitely be on the lookout for that. And uh, before we go, uh, Dr. Sudhu, was there anything that you would like to tell our audience before we leave? Absolutely. I cannot stress this enough. Uh, if you have good vision, it does not mean you have healthy eyes. That is the take home point from any eye exam you should ever have. We far too often see patients come in and say, well, I've had good vision my whole life. And then you end up finding something in their eyes. So uh, prevention is the key in any aspect of our health. Uh, they say about 75 to 80% of the vision loss is preventable, depending on the study that you read. Uh, your vision is your most complex sense. It is the most useful sense. It allows you to perceive the world and how things are around you. So do not take it for granted. Every patient that you've ever told that they're going to lose vision or they're going blind, it's very difficult to tell them that. And also the reaction that they have because they never ever thought about the fact that they could go blind. So do yourself, your family a favor, get your eyes checked regularly and you won't regret it. Well, again, you heard it from Dr. Sudhu there. Please go get your eyes checked. It's very important. Everyone, that's Dr. Devinder Sudhu from British Columbia, Canada. Dr. Sudhu, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me.